Call the meeting to order. You're the on the board. Of agents. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody's out of order because you know it. Oh. You want to conduct a meeting because I'm going to yeah. shove his ass right out. Well, good. Okay. You aren't going to shove me in. John. Okay. And we don't have to swear in here either. Okay, we did the public business. Okay, so, public comments. Yes, I got comments. We do not have to have that kind of language in here. Okay, let's make a thing that all the meetings are going good. I'm going to offer you the all, all of us. Let's all just take a deep breath. And that's what we're up here for. I mean, John, we're talking about the roads. Somehow, some way, if we can find it, I agree with you. I understand what you're saying. I wish we were a rich township. I wish we could pave everything. We used to be. Yes, I know, did. but we lost so much money on it. just the forestry revenue alone. Just that alone, what we lost and we what lost we're doing. We lost quite a bit of money with three guys up here fighting to shop the water wells over here. You know, the national fuel, thousands of dollars went up there. The whole county. The whole township paid for that. Let's look right now what we're doing. What yeah. happened in the past, right now, let's, we're moving to the future. Well, I'm trying to get into the future. I know you are. I know you want to pay it, John. I know what you're saying. I, I honestly, I know what you're saying, buddy. It breaks your heart to sit there and watch that road go down and run graders over it so that they can get rid of it. I don't want to see it get rid of I want uh, tr well, tr you Drive That's, out there. You can see I know, it. I you know. can see the scratches in the road. Where they're see, why don't we make a thing, and it's the best thing we've been talking about going on a road trip. Well, well, let's make an official road trip. I can't do it this Saturday. Um, that way we know. Why don't we? Why don't we go around? And we can do that. Let's do an official road trip. We haven't done it. You guys get with me. Set the night. It takes us about two hours to do it. You think about it. You think about it. Let's come up with a date to do it. I gotta work this Saturday, at least a half a day. After that, I'll be free. Yeah, I work every Saturday. You work every Saturday. I would, I would like say to show you the normal work that's done. For you. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. I would like to be with. I'd like to show you the work that's out there. It's ludicrous. Okay. Um, what's a good time for you? Evenings. Evenings is fine. Is evening okay with you? Or? It's fine with me. How about? Supposed you, to rain Saturday. Is that? Her, her. I'm going to Pittsburgh tomorrow. You busy Friday? You, you got something going on Friday night? No. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm busy. Sa <clears throat> Either Saturday. Why don't we just figure Monday night, and that's easy because it's a work night for you. Let's do Monday night. Let's let's go off. You done at five? Yeah. It's five o'clock. Let's meet up here. It's going to road check. Okay. Monday. Monday night. And I'll let you guys know because I apologize. My schedule is usually the one. Sixteen. Let's do that. You already know. You, I'll tell you right now. We're going to start this way. Head that way out. I can even give you a ring when I get close. Because I'd like to show you exactly if he's going, I'm not about. going. Now, Tom's I'm, already I'll been there and he's seen a lot of it. I know. <clears throat> you guys can ride together and I'll drive in front of you. Well, that's, I'll tell you what, why don't, why don't you, why, and I don't, let's, we were talking, now let's try and do a good neighbor thing. I want to go on a road check, I want to see what's going on out there so we can resolve it. Let's look at it that way. I'll get in there, Tommy knows what you're talking about, that way we can talk, Tommy's seen it, you and Tommy talked? No, I haven't talked to Tommy. Okay, I'll tell you what, John, you give me a ring, you tell me about where it is, I'll try and get out there and me and you'll take a ride and take a look at what your concerns are, and I'm going to relay your concerns to these people. Well, that'd be fun. Okay. Yeah. How about? Appreciate it. Hey, how about Friday? What's Anytime that you. I, I got to go to Pittsburgh. I got to go to Pittsburgh I'm in Monday. I'm Pittsburgh too. I know, but I'll give you a ring Friday night because my missus never taken off. It's me and you go for a little ride out there Monday night. Or good. Friday night, I'm sorry. That'll be good. Bring your dad. <laughs> I'm serious. Charlie knows a lot. It's, it is. And you know something? I don't want to put dad, make dad stressed out or whatever. Right now, the way we got to look about that, my dad did a good job. We're dealing with who we got right now. We got to make what, what we got worked, or else we got to make changes. So it's best to leave my dad out of this, and we're going to progress how we got to progress right now. All right, now one more thing. But I will ask him for advice if I need advice. One I'm not thing. that ignorant. <clears throat> they took the signs down where they crossed the roads. 
the uh, forestry did. Mm -hmm. You know, that says that there's uh, a trail crossing the road. Yeah, for the ATVs. Yeah, they're all down. Why? I don't know. Somebody's knocking them down. I reported the three. Is that our responsibility to put them back up? It's not our responsibility, no, but somebody's going to get hurt there. Oh, I know. Uh, John, do you want to, you want to do it right now? We'll have Carrie call 911. Well, not 911. Why don't we have her make her issue a... Why don't we do it through the township? We'll have the township call and say that they knocked down the signs at the state police. I, the I, signs are No, no. The forestry took the signs out. Because I called them. Uh -huh. And I said, your signs are laying down. The next day, the man came in and took the signs off. They're gone. Well, it's the forestry's responsibility if they got if they got whacked, isn't it? I'm asking a question. No, no. The, it, the signage belongs to the forestry. Correct. They took their signs down. Now it's an open road. When mm -hmm. they cross the road by the tower up down there, yeah. There's no sign saying that traffic is coming. You know, either way, there's a I mean, stop there's sign for the four wheelers yeah. and, the, and the bigger things, but the signs that tell the motorists it's coming up Sackett Road. To look gone. for ATV trails. But I mean, my and I know that is, but actually if it is a forestry ATV crossing, they must have deemed, because they did that, that they're within their rights to do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm saying that they took the sign. I, I know it's dangerous, but it's not. There proof. needs to be a trail crossing sign. Yeah, but it, there they're the one, trail but they're the ones that should do that because exactly. if we take it upon us, we're taking the liability upon ourselves to take it. Up. I'll call Joe Langanese in the morning. Okay, thank you very much. I get a hold of him in the morning. I know what time to get a hold of him. Yeah, the signage is gone. Okay. Well, I mean, that's uh, there has to be signs there. Yeah, There's that's what I don't understand. It's property. their responsibility. That's the state law. There's yeah. got to be signs there. Take them down. Well, the forestry does what they want to do, and that's just you know that's the way it is. But the signs were knocked down by individuals. Mm -hmm. You understand? <clears throat> I called them and I said, "Your signs are down, and they put back up." And the next day, I walked up there. I walked on <coughs> the road every day. And the signs were gone by the forestry because I had to call the supervisor because the guy he's talking about Langanese and I don't get along. So you know, but the signs are gone and they, they need to be. Up. Okay. Jim's going to We we had, and right now presently, we have a heavy, heavy, heavy truck transports out there. We've got log trucks running down Sackett Road. We've got. Uh, trucks running out the house nest because they're drilling out there and they're putting in new pipelines and everything. We've got a lot of heavy equipment traveling through there. Uh, it's it's endless. Not only that, but we've got a lot of tourism, hmm. which I think you guys ought to you know work on. But I think you guys ought to start charging for that tourism, but that's up to you. But what I'm trying to say is we're we're really getting used heavy. Uh, mainly because of the four-corner problem with the trucks trying to make the turns there and getting out to owl's nest, they can come straight through our way. And they do come through some of the log trucks, go through the lower by the tanks there, the next one down, but it's rare. I thought they, they were supposed to come up Maple Run that way. That's the way they're supposed they're to They're supposed to. I mean, I, so... Yeah. Basically, you're saying we're getting inundated <coughs> again by people using the road illegally. They went right by Tommy the other day. Yeah. He said that he tried to stop, but they won't stop. I mean, how often is it going? I mean, should we call the state? I mean, because all we can really do is call the state cops and have the state cops patrol it. Well, I mean, they that's won't. they don't have time. They said that before. Yeah. I mean, you try. I mean, it don't hurt. I mean, will you please give them a call and tell them we have. I don't know if they'll do anything about it, but I don't well, think it's it. heavy truck traffic, but it's usually mostly after hours. Right. <laughs> it's not during the day too much. I mean, you got trucks going. How through. heavy is it? Do you think we should call? Maybe we can have see if ODT will set up out there. Do you think it's overweight? They're coming. I I don't know if they do stuff like that. I, it's out of my road's, The road's posted too. I know it's posted. I mean, I don't. What do we do? Get a camera and put up there? I mean, we're going to catch twenty-two. We can put the camera up. We got a camera. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know whether it's going to do you any good at night. Does it work at night? Yep. Yeah, it well, does. Then put it up, you'll, you'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not 
you know, I mean, it's it's an overabundance more than what they should. They should be running the lower road. They should be running up through Maple Run, coming up yeah. that way. But they don't, and I don't blame. Them. <laughs> well, that's quicker. Well, it's much. <coughs> Hey, Marsha, what do you got to say? You got anything? <laughs> no, I'm okay. <laughs> thank you for, thank you for the, how was the car show? show? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, now we're for the committee. Yeah, right? but uh, we're going to thank okay. you right now. Okay. It was good. Jim? I understand what John's saying about the road out there, but especially the, uh, what's been tarred and chipped and built up to be a reasonable black top road, but by the same token, as being a resident out there for nearly 70 years. You know, I can under, when your dad and uh, the township decided that they were going to uh, go ahead with those projects out there, almost to a person that lived outside of James City and did not live on the Sackett Road, Highland, uh, that road, was wondering why we were spending all that money to do that job out there on that road and that there for uh, a handful of residents. And here we are, we've got a community of Russell City and the other community of Highland out there that reaps nothing from the township. And we talk about, we hear about this $100,000 a mile to lay down tar and chip on a dirt road. You know, sure, you don't receive that much taxes for the roads from the individual people in this township. However, we do still pay taxes. And part of that money that you use to pay, do that work is my fuel taxes that I pay. Now, I'm not denying anybody the right to egress and regress from their home. But at what reasonable cost do we spend? As long as it is safe, travel. Billy? Not to argue with anybody, it's just the counterpoint. The only thing that I got is, <clears throat> have you, all three supervisors, taken a run down past my house? Because I, I got into it with uh, Deb Gage and them, over some issues, water issues. And we have uh, pictures, most of the problem is coming off of the hill, running on... Uh, Right there by Buster's and going across Mike and the Mike's yard and down. Then right there, right where Tyke lives, used to, well, used to live there, it's going across the road just right there. But the main water is coming right off of the road because there's still stuff all over the road right there at Buster's. Comes right yeah. down between your dads. When we really get inundated through George's, it always, when we get a rain like that, that water always rushes down through there. Yeah. I mean, that's. That's a natural thing, but we're looking at normal flows. We're looking into what we're going to do down there, Bill. We're not. You're going to be included in on it. We're trying to send out letters. Yeah. But nothing's going to be evasive. We still haven't made up our minds what we're going to do. Yeah, I was just letting you know yeah. it's mostly coming from that side. Yeah. It's coming from Buster's right off of that hill. The hill. It's coming right down by Leo's. Right down. Right across. Because we have the pictures of what it was doing. How much is coming down Sam Moore's on the other Shit side by time. by Tykes? Yeah, there's. I mean, that's. There's some, yeah. Okay. But it's all going. If it does, it doesn't even. A lot of it does come past my house, but also it's going right there by t between Tykes and Wendy's right there. Okay. That's the stuff that comes from the hill, though. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah. From past your house, there is a manhole, isn't there? A catch basin. No. Coming down the other way from Jack, Jerry? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there's, there's, a a little man, there's a little manhole. But it's across like, the yeah. road before it gets there. It's already across the road. Yeah, it's already across the road. We're looking into seeing what we're going to do. Yeah, because you. they're trying to save my water from my yards going into theirs. I'd like to know how water can run uphill. Mm -hmm. That crosses the road before it gets to your house. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but they're blaming it on me. Yeah. I mean, I seen a gravel pile where it was coming out by Tykes. Looks like it was heading right towards Fred's when I see yeah. it. Yeah, yep, that's what it's doing right there, and going right right across. <coughs> like I said, we're we're looking into most the best way we can fix it for everybody. That's what we're that's, gonna. That's what we're that's gonna try. That's not, not a problem. I have no problem with that. Just as long as you don't dig, go past my driveway because that's already up there. Okay. Dennis. Oh, this is really isn't a. 
really an issue. I just need to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Because of all the construction that's going on on Route 66, taking the bike, that road, Pat, once you pass Highland Township sign, it's not on the Highland Township sign, on the other side, that road's just shot. Like Jones Township. Yeah. yeah. You mean right up Jones here? Township. Yeah. 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 It's it pretty is, bad. That is a mess. Yeah. I thought maybe Marcellus Show had road, to right? take right care up here, of that. Right past the injection well. Going up. Not supposed to be in yeah, that's, uh, that's Jones, Jones Township. Township. Yeah, yeah, as soon as it hits yeah. a Jones Township yeah. line. They're pretty progressive. Jones, are, they do a little bit better than us, I'm sure, when they feel they it's They patched, a, but yeah. they just broke it's, apart again. They're, they're not supposed to be coming in on Jones Township property. I wouldn't see why they would be coming in on no, Jones. No, they'd be when, coming in 66. I haven't seen it. But it out, is. But we walk it, and it's bad. It's really bad. Yeah. And there's nothing, when they decide to take care of it, there's really not too much we can I, do. I, I think we plow for them, correct? Yeah, we plow for them, we and we cut the brush along the yeah. edge of the road for them. And Because Jones is really good to us. Yeah. Jones yeah. really, really is a good neighbor to us and helps us out. When I asked for that rain, that was terrible. I take it came yeah. down. And it was no wonder that it couldn't, the catch alls couldn't even catch it off the runoff because it was so heavy. And it came down in a short period. Why don't we uh, send to Jones Township a little note and tell them our residents are asking about that and see if they can do some repair work on that section of road in there? Yeah, that can hurt. It doesn't hurt, and if they need yeah, help, tell them, yeah. what's the name of the road? Oh shoot, it's right. Yeah, I think it's the Old Lamar. It's Old Lamar. You're right, Bill. Oh, I just called it yeah. up. Old Lamar Road. Road. Okay. That's Lamont Road. Yeah. That's Lamont Road. Old Lamont Road's down. The, the next one by Trust. Okay, so That's Lamont. Lamont. See, I get mixed up because yeah. I call that Lindy Trail when we go across there. That's I'm in the okay. old school thing. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get them to fix the right road. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's the Blacktop State Road. Yeah, that's it. but that's, I think it's, it's, we call it Lindy, but I think that's Old Lamont Road. Yeah, Lindy's Old Lamont Road. Yeah. Not Lindy, but... Uh, Trulix. Spring Road, Trulix. Yeah, Trulix yeah, 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 yeah. is Old Lamont. Yeah, Trulix is Old Lamont. Old Lindy Lamont. is a state road. It's Lindy's state road. down one more. Lindy yeah. was the paper man that cut the trail across there. Was that's it? That's why they call it Lindy's Mailman. Street. Mailman, yeah. Oh, well, you, you learned know, something. Carrie, uh -huh. you might also explain to them that that is a main detour when this hill gets cut, when this James City traffic gets closed, the state police send them up that way. My turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got a couple. Last uh, meeting we asked you to look and see if anything could be done to hold anybody responsible for not having bids. Did you look into it, Carrie? I did. I called PSATS and he said nothing was done illegally. It was just done wrong. He said there's really nothing legally that we can do. And the thing with it is, is I think it was explained wrong. It was explained that we had to pay it back. But we had to pay it back to our own state fund. Yeah. It didn't go, we didn't have to pay it back to PennDOT or anything like that. They come out of our general fund and had to go back into the state fund because it wasn't used properly. So we pretty much just paid the money back to ourselves. So we didn't lose the money. It was just, you know, I think it was misunderstood, you know, but PSAT said that it wasn't illegal, so there's nothing legal we can do about it. Because I even told him about the, you know, the petition, and he said, well, if it, if it was something illegal, then that'd be different. It was just not done correctly but just it wasn't illegal so right, there's the nothing point. there uh, you have uh, not a manhole but a catch basin at the end of Vault Diamond which was which was plugged but in that terrible rainstorm it all unplugged and it's on my land down there now I want to know is it my responsible to clean it up, or is it the township's responsibility to clean it up? It's not plugged anymore. Tom told me it wasn't plugged anymore, and I said, no, all the gravel's down in my place. Hmm. And I know I mow that baby every week, so right. I know there was no pile of gravel. What, were they sprayed it out over here? I, no. Over, what happened is, it looks like it was plugged from all um, 
a lot, a lot of pea gravel, and I'm kind of in a slippery slope because I don't want to answer my mom. <laughs> looks like it was plugged with a lot of pea gravel, and do that ball diamond really gets inundated with water, and finally it had enough head pressure on it, it pushed it through. And we probably got a good couple yards of pea gravel sitting down there. Do you think it's a township's responsibility to go clean it? You're I, familiar with it. I don't know anything about it. I I don't know the legality, and I don't want to, I don't want to answer my own thing because I'm in I'm in trying into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can take. How about in a road check? We'll take a look at it, and then let these guys. Well, out. she's going to have to cut the grass pretty yeah. soon. I mean, it's Is that right. You can't cut the grass until. I haven't tried so far since that rainstorm down there because it's lays a little bit. That's another thing. Someday when you get money, I would like to see you take that drain and tie it in further down so it doesn't come across on my land. You know, I mean, it always has, and it's not a big deal, except when we get this heavy rain like that, then I can't mow it for quite a while. And I do try and keep it mowed up. I mean, I know you're kind of broke now. I mean, it, just food for thought. I'm not pressing you too hard there. But you know, you get it. You have to open it up, the man, or open up something down there. Maybe you could stick a pipe that it would keep. On. Is there a pipe across the street? On the, right across, and there's a bunch of bushes there. Is onto your property? Yeah. Has that been that way for a long time? For a while, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's better. But now we're kind of, you know, cleaning it up and keeping it mowed and. Maybe someday I'd like to sell it. Who knows, you know? And if you guys are cutting brush on uh, Lamont, Lamont Road, you're not doing a very good job because I walk up there all the time. And damn Has, nothing's been cut this year. No, no. grass up to my head almost. Nothing's been cut this year. We did see the bear the other day, but that's because he was on the road. Carrie saw yeah, Carrie saw a deer the other day too. Here or where? I don't know. No. Oh, you hit it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we were walking. We it. <laughs> I couldn't find her in. either. She probably got away, but they totaled my car out. <coughs> yeah. Where'd you hit her at, Carrie? Just about two miles. You know, like second curve before Trollic Spring uh -huh. Road, right about right in there. We got a female with two fawns. Ah. Uh. She's got every one of my hosses. They have a, a taste for hostage. Yeah. She's got them all. I come around that curve and she come out this way and I almost oh. avoided her. I hit her on the passenger side, but I didn't completely avoid her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll take a look into that when we do the road trip. Okay. Is this going to be too wet for you to mow down there? I'm pretty sure. You going to be home tomorrow? I'm home most of all the time. I'll be stopping. I got to go to Kane. I have a meeting in Kane tomorrow and so stuff. I'll come back and show me what you got. Okay? It's right above right where that road is turning down to Bobby's. It's right to, if you turn down, it's to the left of it. I mean, I know she does take... Yeah, oh, I mean, she, she takes good care of the property. I mean, it's admirable the way yeah, it's I cut. Mean, it's, I got no problem with it. It's yeah. just it's just the way the ball diamond is, that's a low spot in a ball mm -hmm. diamond, and it takes a lot of water. Um, You got anything on? No, thank you. Okay, public comment is over with. Okay, I'd like to make a motion that we approve June in the special meeting minutes and accept June's treasury report and balance sheet. I'll second it. Okay, correspondence. I'm not going to read through all the correspondence. I'm just basically going to do the letterhead, and if you guys want to see them, there'll be a copy of it. <coughs> we got a notice from the U.S. Department of Agriculture from the Allegheny um, National Forest Marionville District. A notice from the Elk County Treasurer's Report. I mean, if you, I didn't see it. I didn't see anything in these when I read through the be minutes from the Elk County Commissioners. Okay, we got new well permits from the surrounding townships around us. Uh, well permits renewals from Howell Township, Minard Run Oil Company, Jones Township for Seneca, Sheffield Township for Cameron Energy Company, and Mead Oil Company. Wetmore Township for Black Energy LLC. They're Marshall. always right here. If anybody yeah. wants to look at them, their maps, everything are always right here. What do you got going on, other? Tell us a little bit more about the car show because you did a fantastic job. It looked like you had a good turnout too, honey. It was fun. 
was nice. It was hot, but nice. We had a lot of beautiful cars. I mean, beautiful. And some people that had never been there before. And we had people that baked hot pies and cakes. And we judged them. We had a nice Chinese option. And some kids' games. The dump tank. And then we had um, Mike Hill, the DJ, did a nice thing. We had a games for the kids and then we had a little driving theater for the kids and they had to make their own cars and they would judge so it was that a nice car day. Was really something. That, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it really What's was. his name? Me. Oh Me? no. Yeah. Uh, Danny Gregory's son. Oh you're talking about the kids. Mom's yeah. talking about the kids. Uh, that little car. Uh, that, what was it? Uh, it was a trans. The one that did the transformer. transformer. Mm -hmm. It was. It was yeah. really, really, really yeah. creative. It was some really good imagination. Well, and that, next year, I hope it'll be mm. better. But so I was good. Thank you. I was grateful that everybody showed up in the heat. And hopefully next year, I'm going to try to. I have a few more people helping, so I'm going to try to have it more things for people to do. And now that I have people up there helping, I'm hoping to be bigger and better. Okay. So. Yeah. Thank you very much. Billy, what you got going on? Yeah, I got last month's report and last month's. Did you get called out at all, Bill? Any bad problems? No, yeah, we've had just one little Minor call with trees and stuff like that. Um, that was power lines. Yeah, when you call 911, the bill goes out. Not all the time. Well, <laughs> mostly. Well, when I'm working, I can't. Well, I know that, but I mean, you guys go out. Then our, uh, we got that big uh, Rock the Troops thing this weekend over at uh, Spalding's Junkyard. That'll be starting around noon. That's a big fun, one of our big fundraisers that we're doing. Okay. Over there. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, the road department, Tom has his um, handwriting written down here, basically what he did. I don't know, what's it for two weeks, for the month? Look. This is basically Tom's thing for the month, which... Go well, off trying to read that. Yeah. Smells like Kimberly. <laughs> oh, it's awful. I told him it's awful. <laughs> Man, it looks to me like he's working on ditches. Scott's in here about, we've had some problems with the backhoe, just to let you know, we had to take it down to Anderson's, get some work done with it. Um, basically that's what it says. Meet with some people. So. Okay. Old business. Now, we need to discuss hiring a new seasonal worker. Oh, yeah, I'd like to give up the mowing. It's a little too much. It's a little, too, it's a little too much on me. I didn't realize it would be so much. Um, Rich Koza come in and updated his application. He would like to do it if the supervisors approve. I wouldn't quit until I had somebody He's to replace me. But it's too much on me. And he can, he'd be more of an asset to the township because he can do the brush hogging. Yeah. Where I've there never run the big tractor money. with the boom I'm arm and I'm not comfortable with it. Yeah. So yeah, I think that he he's would, worker. yeah, and he's done he's it before, worker. so. And I would rather the town look nice than yeah, try to you got the F make a mess. Did you the state police on the little No. 30 some thousand, oh, 43 thousand. Right here it is. Okay. Act, now Act this is 13. what I heard, and I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. 43,000. Oh. And that's the allotment we got. Thank you. Right. Hmm. But then somebody did tell me the kid does go look and he split around the corners. Right. And maybe he did scare somebody enough to call because they're afraid he's going to get killed. Well, yeah, know? it's mm -hmm. kind of right on that curve. Yeah. You know, it might be a little. Okay. I guess we're going to have to. What do you guys want to make a motion? We'll hire Rich. I'll make a motion. We hire Rich on a part time basis. To take it, Carrie's place. Take Carrie's place at the same wages as we're paying her $10 an hour. I second that. I agree. Thank you guys. Kara, you want to contact him and uh, yeah. he can start and you brief him on what's done and he yeah. can start.
Okay. Well, like I told Matt, I don't want to let anybody down, but it's it's just too much for me. I didn't realize it'd be so much, and I'd rather, you know, I think he'd be more of an asset. He can do the brush hogging and that and get that done. Because that does need done. He's done that before, and he's right. done a good job with it before. I'm just not comfortable with that big tractor with the boom oh, you, on it. You could have done. I, I could have done it, I'm sure, but I just. <laughs> I don't think he'll get called back to work for a while. I know really. it's the only equipment we have. Don't so you just, know why? I don't know. Okay, notify him he can start. He does have a driver's license. He did. I, as far as I know, I can. Have, I will have to get a copy of it and okay do you have to have a driver's license to no. run the Kubota or no you know okay no 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 because it's not a it's an off-road it's, vehicle it's not a licensed vehicle it's an off-road vehicle yeah yeah because we don't have to have plated or nothing okay, okay <coughs> under new business we're going to discuss so we got our act 13 money and it kind of looks like what we got a lot of us for 2017, it's forty-three thousand one hundred and thirty dollars and seventy-five cents. For Act Thirteen, it's more than we got last year. Okay. You know what we got last year? Thirty. It was like thirty-six thousand something. We last got thirty-six year. or thirty-seven thousand yeah. last year. Yeah. So we did get a little bit more than last year. Well, thank God we got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot of. But which is about a third of what we've been getting. Oh. And before we were getting close to a hundred thousand a year. Now we're down to forty thousand. So yeah. And still with the Act Thirteen, we can basically still use that. Just let them know that's repairs, um, road work, and that's about it. It's almost mirrors. It almost pretty much mirrors the liquid fuels. Yeah. Yeah, liquid fuels are ninety some thousand. Yeah, it was, but I'm saying what we can use the Act Thirteen for. Yeah. Yes, basically. Yeah, just yeah. Like, it's a little more expanded because they fixed this roof with Act Yeah, 13. you can use yeah. it on infrastructure. Yeah. 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 Honestly, like Buildings last and last year, we tied up. We just had basically a fifteen thousand dollar bill to get the blue truck running again. Our only four wheel drive truck that we got, we got it fixed. Which I don't know if we told since last time. Crankcase sensor. Um, what the heck was it? The the emissions, uh, catalytic converter we had to put in it. I forget some tires, the usual rigmarole. You know. The, what the biggest problem was it was the crank position sensor. Yeah. What was given the fit? The fits on it. And unfortunately, that stuff costs a lot of money to fix. Um, to discuss advertising in the Elk County Association book. We usually put in our letterhead. Yeah. Well, we get this a half. The a, we get a half a page year. ad or something, isn't it? Yeah, this is the ad from last year, and then you have to update your information. But yeah, let's just make a motion. I make a I make a motion that we advertise in the Elk County Association booklet. How much does that cost? It's the quarter page is twenty dollars. Half page thirty five. Full page is sixty. I think we paid thirty five bucks for a half page. Is what we've been paid. Yeah. A half page. Yeah, I'll get that. Did they come up with a date for that thing yet? No. Well, we haven't gotten an invitation yet. It's usually in, it's usually in August. All right. Okay. Yeah, I seen last year they got an invitation around this time, but. Okay, we discussed putting in a driveway pipe for Wendy Silvis, and we were talking. I mean. Yeah, she wanted to know what was going on, and okay. she said if she needs a pipe. You know, but I said, well, I don't know if they decide what they're doing down there yet. And I told her, I said, I'll put it on the agenda. If they have decided what they're doing, then they can approve it. If not, then. Yeah. I think our first, what we're going to do first, we're going to try a couple different options before we ditch down through there. But I'll make a motion if we do have to put a pipe in in Wendy's or we deem it necessary that we will put it in for her as long as she buys a ditch pipe. Well, you're on that subject. We're also looking at in on that too. Okay, I'll make a motion that we put, if you guys Let's want see. one, if you guys want one, I but bear with us, see if we can get yeah. the water going, Bill, because if we can get the water going another way, there's no sense of putting a ditch pipe in. Yep, yep, that's why we were holding off yeah. to see what was going to happen and stuff before we went out and bought the pipe. Because right. the more we touch stuff, sometimes it's hard to get it exactly how you all want yeah. it. I mean, because it's, there's not too much, there's not too much fall coming down past your guys' place. 
Now that's pretty flat from the corner Real down until you get past Bill's house. Real flat. Yeah. And right after your drive, well, it's a little ways past Robbie's and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I even talked to Robbie when we were down there. And that's, like, do you go canoeing or kayaking back uh, there? No, it's it's the whole thing. I mean, that, that's a bad place. That's the lowest yeah. spot in James City, and we're trying to get water not to run in everybody's places. We don't want to affect somebody. Whatever we do, we don't want it to affect the other person. Like, we're yeah. just shifting the person. That's why... I just want you to bear with us a little bit. We're going to try and make the best decision of what we can do down there. That was kind of like a freak rain, too, we had. Well, we have it all the time, and they're exactly right. What Bill said, that's where the water comes. It comes the whole way from Kevin's. You notice where Kevin's wash yeah. out? It's the whole way down. The whole way down it through. It comes past your dad's, dad's place. Yard. You remember your mom and dad's place, how it got inundated, and it comes the whole way down through there. It's been yeah. doing it for years. And there's no way whatever we put in for infrastructure... Not that we can afford right. to do that. We would never be able to handle that much water. Right. That's just the nature of the beast. I mean, that's... It looked like a river. I mean, my, it actually flooded my yeah. garage. I never had flooded. Yeah. Or under the door. Right the past your house. Down right. It run, got to run right, right past your house, don't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if you had curbs and gut, there's no I mean, way... Not that kind of... There's no way we're going to stop out. it. No way we're going to yeah, stop no. it. Um, other than that, I mean, I make a motion... That we pay the bills and uh, make a motion that we review the bills and make a motion to accept bills as paid. Can I have one comment Go ahead. before you resign? Go ahead. Let's. I'll make. I'll second that you pay the bills. Okay. The uh, <coughs> this thing with the payment to liquid fuels back to PennDOT. This thing, I read the letter, I've talked to the solicitor and had uh, Kerry talk to PSAP's attorney. What this was, and what at best I can figure, it was X amount of stone ordered and X amount plus was delivered. And it went over the minimum amount you could buy without a phone bid. And the bill was paid and the it slipped by somebody. Pen dot said, "Okay, fine. We're not paying for the bill. You take the money out of your general fund to pay the bill and reimburse us." And that's what we did. There's no money lost. Now I'm working with Kerry to try. We're putting, we're staying legal, but we're putting as much stuff as we can on liquid fuels bill because that's our biggest item right now that's our largest it's our largest revenue yeah. revenue yeah so we're working we're putting all the road guys time on there we can hurt time all the rest of it cannot go on there no as long as they're working out on the roads i yes. can pay them out of the state fund so that's what i've been doing because they've been out ditching and, and we can do maintenance too off of yes equipment you can do yes. maintenance you yes. can pay for repairs on the trucks and stuff like that the equipment, yes. We Purchase committed the repairs to the truck out of Act 13 money because we have to spend that Act 13 money. Or we lose. Yeah. And so that's, we're, we're, we're switching this around as much as possible to keep our general fund balance solvent. And it makes sense. So that way, in case we get in trouble, we can do whatever we're going to do with the general fund. That's exactly we got a lot more latitude what we can do with the general I fund. I feel we should explain this so people realize what's yeah. going on. Yeah, that's, I think they... The residents thought we had to pay it back to PennDOT. No, no, we just ha it, paid it out of the general account into the state account. We just horizontally still, transferred the money. Yeah, it stayed in the township. Yeah, yeah. it stayed it, it, in the township. It didn't physically cost us money. It cost us, it, it made us readjust our way we spend our money. When we audit, and this is what I, I don't understand, when we audit, the only thing that stays on its own are state, the fire department, and one other thing, I can't even think of it right now. Street light. Street lighting. Street light. The rest of it all goes back into general. And yes. I think to myself, so confusing, you know, it really is confusing. It is, yeah. I mean, we have to keep <coughs> those. Yeah. Well, it's just like this thing here. <coughs> An audit wouldn't have picked that up. Probably not. No, no, we wouldn't. No, audit would not have picked that up. It, no. <coughs> the check was written. The bill was in. The check was. It was covered. Right. 
Well, and so the says, audit would go through. I don't care who was done the audit. It would have went through and nobody would have known the right. difference. Yeah. PennDOT, PennDOT picked that up whenever you they were here auditing you this spring, weren't they? No, they when they audited Christy, they come and audited her in December before oh, I started. Oh, okay, okay. That's, I that's didn't realize what it was. Yeah. Okay. Because but that's where it's at. It didn't cost us money. We just have to transfer it and spend our money right. a little bit differently than what we got. Mary um, from PennDOT, she came January 18th and did 2017's audit with me just to show me how to do it. Okay. And the, the audit went through fine for 2017. So. You know, I have a feeling that I think PennDOT wants to be more than fair with everybody. They don't want you to make a mistake. Oh. Yeah. But they don't want egg on their face either. No, no. You got I mean, you got to play the game. You got to do it the way they say. In the, the same way with Act 13, we got to watch what we do with that. There's quite a bit. I mean, it's more liberal. Right. Yeah. Okay, I said my piece. Okay. Yeah, I make a motion we accept the bills as paid. Then after we're done with that, I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. I'll second it.